Hello, Slain here with Hobbies of Man once again, and today we're going to be doing another manga first impressions review. Today we're going to be looking at The Witch and the Beast um, by Kosuke Satake, uh, published by Kidansha. The demographic here is a seinen, and the genres here are adventure, dark fantasy, and thriller. And it kind of has like a psychological element to it as well. It does not currently have an adaptation. There's 10 volumes of this out. I don't know if that's all there is in the series. I'm pretty sure the series is still ongoing. And um, it's kind of... Um, interesting I, didn't, I wasn't really expecting it uh to be an action series when i bought it i initially thought that it was going to be like a slice of life kind of like in a fantasy setting type story but it's actually quite different from that um i bought this digitally i don't have this physically but i might try to pick it up physically because i quite liked it um it's just not really something that i'm necessarily invested in getting right now it's probably going to be something that i'm going to collect probably next year or the year after that you know kind of uh as part of my longer term manga collecting plans, not necessarily stuff that I immediately want to get to. I didn't like it that much, um, but I did quite enjoy it. So yeah, um, basically it, it's kind of hard to explain the premise, but basically you follow two people. One person is a uh, kind of like a adult male. His name is Asaf, I think, or Ashaf, something like that. Um, and this female character, I'm pretty sure they're a female character. Everything about the way that they're introduced is feminine looking to me. So we're gonna go with a female character. Their name is Guido or, or Gita, something like that. And they work for the special organization. Uh, and they, they even have a crap catchphrase for it, but I don't really remember the, the, the whole thing off the top of my head. Um, but they work for this organization and the job that they specialize in is hunting down witches. Specifically because Guido uh, has a curse attached to them um, and they're looking to break it. They're also looking for revenge for uh, on the witch that, you know, imparted this curse onto them. And we learned that there's three different ways to break the witch's curse. Two of them require you to actually uh, interact with the original witch that, um, or one of them interacts with the original witch. One of them gives you a very unlikely scenario. And the third one is one that actually ends up being helpful to this group of people when they're hunting witches because it allows them to remove the curse from Guido, which then gives them access to Guido's real body, which is this kind of like werewolf creature, I'm not exactly sure, um, that is very, very powerful. And so um, we basically see these characters go through two, maybe three different witch hunting excursions. Um, and they're pretty interesting. Um, I quite liked it. Um, the kind of meaningful aspect of this part of this, of, of this uh, volume that I read to me is that the art style is really interesting. It's not necessarily classically beautiful, uh, although it does have a lot of normal beauty to it, but um, it's really interesting and it has this kind of like dark vibe to it. Um, and also the paneling and the way that everything looks is very aesthetic, but I don't know exactly in what way. It does feel like um, European looking, like things look like they're in Paris or they're in, you know, some sort of like fancy area in Tuscany or something. Um, but it, I can't really tell the time period that it's supposed to set, be set in. It's kind of anachronistic. Um, uh, so it's kind of interesting. It's, it has this kind of um, like 19th century, 19th, 20th century kind of vibe to it, um, but with like more modern implements to an extent. So I like the, the styling of it. I think it's very aesthetic. It looks really, really beautiful, but um, it's kind of odd. However, the character development between those two characters is also pretty interesting. Uh, I'm pretty invested in Guido. I don't really care too much about the guy character, but uh, his interactions with uh, with Guido are pretty interesting. I quite like them. So if you like a very aesthetic looking dark fantasy, kind of urban fantasy type series about people that, w that hunt witches, You'll probably enjoy this. Um, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head that's pretty similar, um, but it does kind of have that kind of like uh, Western urban fantasy vibe to it that I think uh, kind of works, right? So yeah, that's it for The Witch and the Beast by Kisuke Satake. So that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And thank you guys very much for watching the video. See you guys next time.